Look at these claws right here. You see that? Ah! He's kicking right now. He's gonna pinch. Oh, he's letting you pinch ah. him. It's sharp. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, we got something for sure. Oh! What is this? All right, guys, here we are at Pet Supermarket once again. I didn't think two crawfish was enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a couple more, and then we're gonna head back on the water. All right, guys, we just made it to the fishing spot here. Come in close, Tim. Check it out, these are our extra crayfish we end up getting. Look at that, they're just rolling around cuddling. How interesting, look. But, and then we also have the other two from last time. Here, check these out real quick. Oh, that would help if I had no rope. They're the big ones. So now, today's objective is that we're gonna go ahead and try to catch some bass on these crayfish. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hey, come to Narnia, my friend. Come on, players. Oh, gosh, Narnia has spiders. <laughs> it's scary, come. Come take a look at this beautiful oasis. Let's see if there's anything that's ready to go ahead and eat crawfish. Okay guys, let's check out our baits. There's a whole bunch. Let's take the bubbler out. There are so many baits right here. Big crawfish with big claws. We might use those first. And then smaller ones. Let's see what works better. Alright guys, come check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my trusty net because I don't want to get pinched. Wait, do those really hurt? Yeah, they dude. Pinch you? Yeah, 100%. No way. They're so small. Yeah, dude. Those things are claws, bro. Let me see, man. Look at this. Look at these claws right here. You see that? Ah! You gonna let them pinch you? Hold on, hold on. If you're gonna let them pinch you, I gotta hold the camera, bro. I gotta hold the camera here. Let's switch real quick. All right, Tim. So we're gonna put this right here. Go ahead and grab it. Come on, pinch me. Huh. He's kicking right now. He's gonna pinch. Oh, he's letting you pinch ah. him. It hurts a little bit or what? I don't think he got me good. He got you? All right, here, you're gonna let him pinch right now. He's, he's kind of wild right now. Oh, he got you. Ah, it's sharp. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I told Damn. you. When he got me, with the, they have like little hooks too. Uh -huh. Oh, he got you. All right, let's go ahead and save that. Keep that guy, I'll put him right there for me. You're a champion right there. Tim, the camera guy is the man. What's up, what's <laughs> up, guys? That's, that's crazy. You know what, I wouldn't have done that. I mean, I might do it later on. Maybe put it as an earring or something if times are hard. <laughs> if I don't catch a fish, which is gonna happen, we're gonna catch a fish. If I don't catch a fish, I'm putting it on my ear as an earring. I'll do it for you guys. So to avoid um, to avoid getting pinched, you want to hold it usually in the back of their body. And sometimes you can go ahead and hold the bottom of their claws. You see, they have no control. You can't get pinched, pinched like my buddy Tim over there. But uh, this is our prime bait, guys. This is gonna be pretty crazy right here. I'm gonna actually hook them. In the back of the tail right here so I'm gonna grab my rod real quick come check ah! <laughs> ah! come check this out real quick so I don't know if you guys can see this can you yeah you can all right cool I'm gonna go ahead and just right here on the first digit I'm just gonna go ahead and just run the hook right there on the tail just like that oh he's going crazy do you see that here come yeah. check this out maybe he won't get me going crazy this is absolutely nuts oh he almost got me <laughs> that was crazy all right now we're gonna go ahead and get and get the fishing right now oh my god sorry i just saw something massive it could be a carp maybe a pop i'm not sure but all right we're gonna go ahead and crawl number one watch out please don't get you so right now i'm just freelining it maybe you go ahead and put on a weight depending on what's going to go on but i'm gonna freeline it hopefully we get bit Guys, we got our first fish on the craw. What do we got? Oh, the elusive crazy mind. Sorry for the noise in the back. But dude, he inhaled that thing. Did you see that, Tim? Yeah, I watched him go. Yeah, it was, was kind of sad. So this is not what we're looking for. We're looking for bass, but this is one of our exotics down here. Invasive species, and I can't hold this thing for my life. We're like, all right, uh, this is our little guy. Not what we're looking for. We're looking for bass, but it's still kind of pretty. It's okay. It's okay. Time to be free. Goodbye, my friend. 
Dang, he ate the big crawl. I was hoping a bass ate the crawl, not that. All right, we're gonna get another one, but this one's a little guy. Let's see what else we can find. Look at this little little guy. He's small. Hopefully, they can attract some of the, some of the bass that I'm looking for. I put a big bait, you know, big bait, big fish, but obviously we got something that was trash. All right, guys, we've moved to the other side of the lake. I kept getting some mines and some cichlids. I was not okay with that. So now, let's go on the hunt for some bass. We're gonna go ahead and just try this little area, see what's up. Oh, we got something for sure. Oh, what is this? I think it's a peacock. It Riding looks like, like one. Looks like it's, it's winning. One, it's one of those infamous, infamous mega mines. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. See the colors on this one though? Look at that. This is obviously my crawfish layer. Look at this guy. See how pretty the colors are? Yeah, that that blue on that eye right there is. It's almost like a heart. You see that? Yeah. Eye heart, Joey Slam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and release this guy real quick. Be free, my friend. They're excellent bait when they're smaller, and when they're bigger, they're excellent snook bait too. But not what we're looking for, my friend. You see that guy? Ah, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna send this thing. To the streets! Or just the middle of the lake. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's my crawl. Sometimes what I go ahead and do is I let it sink to the bottom and then I'll just jerk it. And let it sink again, then jerk it, then jerk it again, and let it sink. Let him do his thing. And sometimes he ends up kicking up himself trying to go ahead and run away from the predators. Also, people, you can use a weight also, but I'm just freelining it because he has weight in his own. And they'll just sit on the bottom like that. Get in there, see if you can go ahead and see him. Oh, there's a, there's a Mayan on him. But, see the Mayan? <laughs> the little guy? Gosh, those Mayans are terrible. Oh, leave me alone! There's so many of them! <laughs> but, but pretty much. So that's how I work my crawfish. I just kind of let it go to the bottom and work it as naturally as possible. Even, even if it's the soft plastics, I do the same thing. I hope there's something in here. Let's come on. No more Mayans. Hashtag end Mayan life. Hello? Hello? Look at all these little chickens. <laughs> so I'm not doing anything. Look at all the babies. They're so cute. So, I wish I had bread. I would have fed them, but... That's, that's her whole, those are all her hatchlings, those are all her eggs right there. Can't that's see, awesome. Can't see them anymore. Well, into the dock they go. <laughs> Alright guys, we're reaching a culvert right here. Let's see if we have some luck. No dice. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Larry down. Larry got whacked. Come on, Larry. Just checking this culvert. I knew there was something here. Come on, Larry. I believe in you. Oh my God. Oh, that was a big bass. For revenge for that big old bass that decided to go ahead and rob me of Mr. Larry. Let's go. I believe. There he is. Oh, there's a jumbo. There's a jumbo bass. Watch yourself. Did you see him? Yeah, he's a jumbo bass. All right, guys, we got eaten. Oh, something's got us. King Mayan. It's a Mayan, and the jumbo no. bass is right there. We're gonna go ahead and release you on a little side over here. Be free, my friend, away. Dude, did you see that jumbo bass? Yeah. It was huge. All right, guys, I'm hoping to go ahead and get this bass. They got super flared up. There were so many bass in that culvert. I told you, the culvert are the way to go for these crawls, 100%. Been getting wrecked. Yeah, oh! Oh! <laughs> you got me. I don't know how you got the big one to bite your finger like that, Tim. That was crazy. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get this out. All right, All right to the culvert. I believe. 
No, the mine. <laughs> Here, come close. A little bit. I got eaten, Tim. Another Mayan cichlid. <sighs> Again, hopefully, hopefully we get the right species. Here's the bass. Well, my crayfish just got killed by something. There's a whole bunch of commotion going on. We got something now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cheese and rice. Our last and final crawl. Hopefully this is the one that generates the right species, man. Been catching so many Mayan cichlids and we lost that big bass. Sorry guys, this is crazy. But we gotta get through all the trash fish. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, we'll eat it. I'm trying to keep it away from the, the Mayans. That bass is right here. It's so big, guys. I guess they know what's going down. I won't be... Oh, here we go. Here's Lego Bass. Oh, gosh. I got eaten, guys. By something. Take a guess. Another Mayan second day. Well, since I failed and I hooked myself, <laughs> I'm gonna go back in shame and head back to the house. Oh man, oh man. God, I love my fish. They're the coolest guys. I hope you enjoyed those eats. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was quite tough out there. Could not get that bass. I lost that big jumbo and that pissed me off. I can't lie, I got really pissed to the point that I kept going back to the same culvert and just Picking mine after mine after mine, man. They're really, really abundant. But it was still fun to go ahead and try and fish with live profit fish. Now, guys, let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you want me to go ahead and do. I'm taking a lot of suggestions. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video, guys. Because this guy is awesome. He's awesome. Let me know if you guys want to, you know what, potentially feed him smaller crawls. It's going to be nuts, guys. But till the next slave venture, guys.